It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Wednesday, June 2nd, 2021. Number one, at the site of the worst destruction of a black community, a bustling economy, and its people, Joe Biden traveled to Tulsa Tuesday as the first sitting president to mark the commemoration of the Tulsa race massacre. It was 100 years ago this week that white mobs killed hundreds of black citizens, injured thousands more, and destroyed a once thriving business district and neighborhoods. In his speech, the president spoke about economic disparity, but even some supporters say it missed the mark by not addressing some topics, including reparations. Number two, in Texas over the holiday weekend, Senate Bill 7, a controversial restrictive voting bill, seemed all but guaranteed to pass. In a surprise move, Democrats engaged in one of the biggest protests to new voting laws so far as they walked off the House floor. The move in which Democrats left the House chamber one by one reduced the required 100-member quorum needed to pass SB7. It forced Republicans to abandon a midnight deadline and declare the legislative session essentially over. Number three, according to updated guidance from the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, employers are allowed to require the COVID-19 vaccine. Companies must still provide reasonable accommodation for employees who are exempt from mandatory immunization under the Americans with Disabilities Act and Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. Some experts say there's enough legal gray area that lawsuits could arise as companies start to bring their workers back to the physical workplace. Number four, just before the Memorial Day weekend, a black woman received a $385 citation that she stemmed from racism. While walking down her street and talking on her phone, Diamond Robinson was approached by a white female neighbor and asked her to get off your phone or talk lower. After refusing, the white neighbor called the police and three officers arrived minutes later, issuing Robinson a ticket for being a public nuisance. Robinson said she will fight that ticket in court. Number five, Google plans to double its artificial intelligence research team to 200 employees after ousting two female experts, Dr. Timnit Gebu, a black woman, and Margaret Mitchell. Dr. Gebu was part of the company's 1.2% black female employees and was delegated the responsibility of ensuring its AI tech was implemented without causing harm to communities of color. Google is now looking to strengthen a group that has had its credibility challenged by research controversies and personnel defections. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Remember that actions speak louder than words. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Stephen Hill and Myra J. as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Black Voters Matter, and uh, the Salute Them Awards presented by Cafe Mocha. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.